analogy means correspondence or partial similarity in this section you will see a pair of words with certain relation and then some options with again pair of words we need to pick up the best pair which has a similar relation as that of given question the purpose of this section is to test the candidates overall knowledge then the word power and the ability to think precisely and accurately let's get started there is no shortcut for this topic you have to learn the relations of different categories something like the countries and the capitals instrument and the measurement then tools in the action words synonyms and the list goes on the best way to go with this is pick up a word list then master them and then go for the next list and so on it may take time but definitely it will help you build your vocabulary now let's solve few questions here is the first question book publisher phil and unknown look at these first two words the book and the publisher what is the relation i can say publisher produces the book here the relation is production and from this it's pretty clear the answer is producer the producer is the one who will produce the film here is the second question thunder rain unknown and night look at the first two words thunder and the rain now what is the relation between them what happens first is it the thunder or the rain yes of course it is thunder so i can say the first is thunder thunder is followed by rain so the relation i can say it is followed one follows the other in a similar manner what do you think precedes the night what comes before night it is evening so after evening we have night tennis is related to court in the same way as boxing is related to what here the relation i can write as tennis is played in court similarly boxing is played in ring flowers is related to essence in the same way as oven is related to what so we can say flowers to essence the relation is flowers give essence now oven does it give vapors fire heat or steam of course it is heat one is used for heating teeth chew here i can say the relation is functionality so teeth is used for chewing now in the options we have mind think sweater heat food taste eyes flicker the most appropriate will be mind think because we use mind to think sometimes instead of words you may see some numbers and whenever you see a pair of numbers go with the mathematical operation that is being used and a similar logic can be applied with the other options here the numbers are 20 11 102 and unknown i'll assume 20 as x now what will be 11 in terms of x probably i can write this as x by 2 that is 20 by 2 is 10 but we have 11 therefore i'll put as 1 so this is x is 2 x by 2 plus 1 Now, if I think x as one zero two, then what will be x by two plus one? If I substitute, this will be one zero two by two plus one, which is fifty one plus one. That is fifty two. Therefore, the answer is fifty two. Then we have forty nine, eighty one, hundred, unknown. And looking at the numbers, we can clearly see these are squares. This is seven square, nine square, ten square. If I take this as x square, this will be x plus two square. Now, in the same fashion, if this is x, what will be this? X plus two. That is ten plus two square. That is twelve square, which is one forty four. Therefore, the answer is one four four. The given set is two, fourteen, sixteen, and similar sets are given. We need to identify which two sets are similar. Now, for this, let's find some relation between these numbers. I can say two to fourteen is actually multiple by seven. What about two to sixteen? It's a multiplication by eight. Now, I can try to find a similar logic below. Can we relate these two? No. Can we relate these two? No. How about this? Three into seven is twenty-one. 
3 into 8 is 24. Yes, it follows the same logic. Therefore, this is the answer. And sometimes instead of numbers and words, we may see letters. And here the relation is based on the positions of the letters in the alphabet. Something like this. Here we have A C E B D F F H J and some unknown. Look at the first letter positions. There's a shift by one position. What about the second letters? Again shift by one. Even the third letters, there's a shift by one. Therefore, here there should be a shift by one. Therefore, after F it is G. Then after H it has to be I and after J it has to be K. So G I K that is option A. Let's try one more. So here we have some jumbled words. The first one says 80. Second jumbled letters of the same word. Then again we have output. We need to find the jumbled letters of this word. For this first let's identify which letters have not changed their position. Look at I. I is in the same position. Then T is also in the same position. But the position of E has been changed with G. There is a swap. And how about H? H and Y also there is a swap. So I can write the first letter has been swapped with third letter. And fourth letter has been swapped with sixth letter. If I use that logic, the second and fifth will remain same. So let me write that first. Then I just need to swap these two. So T will be here, O will be here. The next I need to swap these two. So T I can write here and P O here. Therefore, the answer is B. I hope you are clear with the different type of questions asked from analogies and the methods to solve them. Practice well, all the best.